Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, inshallah, we are going to start grammar unit 8, active and passive. And uh, I think you remember this from last year because we studied it in grade 6. We are going to start with an activity. You have got a table with two columns. Uh, you are going to look at the table and uh, match the sentences that they are similar. Okay, that are similar. Okay, you have one minute to do that. Pause the video and do that. Okay, now, I think that you finished. Okay, let's read together and see what happens. The first sentence here in the first column says he plays tennis. He plays tennis. And it is matched with letter C. Tennis is played. Can you spot the difference? Yes, in the first sentence we said he plays tennis like I mentioned the subject at the beginning. But in letter C we said tennis is played. Because here I'm speaking about tennis, the object. I want you to be careful about the verb, like here is played, uh, and this sentence is played, and this one is plays, he plays, but tennis is played. Now this is the difference between active and passive. In the active sentence, we start with the subject, but in the passive, we start with the object. It is more important. In the active, we say plays, okay, but in the passive, we say is played, and we are going to see later how we form the passive sentence. Uh, sentence two. She writes novels, uh, this becomes, uh, novels are written. We start with the object, after that we use am or is or are, then the past participle. Then, sentence three, the teacher is explaining the lesson. Okay, now we match this with letter F, the lesson is being explained. Again, we start with the, with the object in the passive form, but here we said is being explained. Okay, now we notice that the form of the passive uh, changes according to that tense itself. Okay, number four, the boys are playing volleyball, and this will be letter H. Uh, volleyball is being played, is being played. Uh, number five, they played football, and letter G is football was played, because this is past. We say football was played. I'm speaking about the object now, this is passive. Okay. Uh, number six, we sent emails, and this will be uh, letter B, the emails were sent. I'm speaking about the object, then I say were, then sent, the emails were sent. Uh, number seven, the girls were cooking the food, and this will be letter A, the food was being cooked. And the, the, the last one will be the man was chasing the thief, and it will be letter D, the thief was being chased. So I think that you got the idea, and we are going to speak about it in detail now. So what is an active sentence? An active verb or sentence is the one in which the subject is the person or thing which performs the stated action. Like I say, she told me, because I mentioned that subject at the beginning. So what is a passive sentence? It's a way of structuring a sentence so that the grammatical subject is the person or thing that which experiences the effect of an action rather than the person or thing which causes the effect. Like I'm not speaking now about the subject or the doer. I'm speaking about the receiver. I'm speaking about the person who experienced the action. Like if I say the dog chased the cat, it would be the cat was chased. So in the first sentence, I was speaking about the dog and what he does or what he did. But in the second one, I am speaking about the cat and what, what happened to her or what happened to it. The cat was chased by the dog. Of course, we, we, we form or we use the active and passive in different ways. So uh, when do we use the passive form? So, so if I say the newspaper is read by many people, so in this case... Uh, the, the object is more important than the subject because I'm here I'm speaking about the newspaper. So when the action is more important than the who, the who or what is responsible for it, so I'm speaking about the object rather than the subject, so I use the, the passive form. So if I say the internet is used to get information, so we, when we don't know the agent or it is not important, I use the passive form. And then if I say the thief was sent to prison, in this case, of course, we know that uh, the people who sent uh, people to prison are the, the court and the police. So when the agent or the, the, uh, the subject is clear, so in this case, we use the passive because I know, of course, if I say the thief was arrested, I know that the, the, that was the police. Okay, so I use it if I don't know the subject 
or if I if the the object is more important or if the subject is clear from the context I use the passive form now we are going to return again uh, to some notes before we start explaining the tenses in the passive look at this sentence if I say I broke the, the window with a rock I broke a window with a rock so uh, who did the action it's me what did I do I broke the window what's the object is the window now what did I use when I break the window so I use the rock so the rock is a tool or a material I use to do something so look in the passive I say the window was break broken by me by me and the window was broken with a rock in the first one the window was broken by me I mean I use the the preposition by if I mention the subject at the end but we use the preposition with if I'm speaking about the tool or the material I use to do the action so when it is important to mention the agent or the subject in a passive sentence we use the word by when we want to mention the tool or the material in the passive sentence we use the word with so with the subject use by but with the tool use with okay look at this Rupert Murdoch started the media company so the media company was started by Rupert Murdoch so he is the subject at the at the end I use by by Rupert Murdoch but if I say the TV screen was smashed with a hammer so a hammer is not the subject because someone used it to smash the screen TV but the hammer is just a tool so if I say the studio was equipped with modern technology so modern technology is not the subject but it's the material we used to equip the studio okay got the idea now let's return so how we form the passive of course you remember but we are going to revise so he plays tennis and I say tennis is player do you, you know that we start the sentence with the object and then we put verb to be according to the tense like here this is present simple so I used is okay so we use am or is or are after the subject after the object then we put the past participle okay so the passive is formed with the verb be and the past participle so the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the verb in the passive sentence like here we said he plays tennis and they started with tennis tennis is played okay notice that we change the object pronoun into a subject pronoun like if I say she helped him I say he was helped by her so she helped him and then I say he was helped by her notice the difference in pronouns then we are going to go again to the table take your time to guess the rule according to the tenses because here we have got four tenses like present simple present continuous past simple and past continuous uh, pause the video and guess the rule okay now let's look at the sentences more carefully like look at the the rule now if I say he makes cakes this is present simple makes present simple so I start with the object like cakes and then I say are made cakes are made okay so you put the object after that amor is or are then the past participle if it is present simple okay in the second sentence I say he is making cakes now I'm speaking about now this present continuous so I start with the the object at the beginning then I put amor is or are then being then the past participle so I say cakes are being made cakes are being made okay if it is present continuous the rule will change so it is here clear you can screenshot the uh, the rules to study them uh, and then if I say he made cakes this is past simple so I start with the object then I put was or were after that the past participle so it will be cakes were made cakes were made in the past okay if the sentence was in the past continuous so it, like he was making cakes so we say cakes were being made so obvious that you start uh, with the object after that was or were after that being then the past participle okay now let's move to another set of rules uh, here you have got the present perfect and the past perfect and the future guess the rule take your time okay excellent now if we say they have cleaned the room this is present perfect you have have after that past participle so you start with the object so the room has been cleaned the room has been cleaned so you put the object after that have or has then been then past participle okay the second sentence says like by last Monday she had taken the course 
Ha, what tense is it? Like, it's, yes, excellent. She's, uh, this is past perfect. So you say the course had been taken, had been taken. So you start with the object, then had been, then past participle, if it is past perfect. The last example here we have, like Tom, Tamir will explain the lesson. Oh, this is future, excellent. Now what, uh, see what happens? Yes. So you start with the object, then will be, then past participle. So the lesson will be explained. The lesson will be explained. Of course, you can add the, the like the, ob, uh, the subject at the end uh, and say, say by Tamir or by uh, her or whatever, if you want, okay? Now we have a note, a note here. Some verbs like the word give uh, can take two objects. Like in this case, he gave Ali a present. He gave Ali a present. So you have got Ali and you have got a present, two objects. You can start with either of them. Like you say, you can say start with Ali or you start with a present. But notice the difference between the two cases. If you say Ali, you say Ali was given a present. Ali was given a present. Yes, it's past. So we say Ali was given a present. But if you start with the object, you say Ali, and you didn't say Ali, you say a present was given to Ali. Ha, ah, you added a preposition before the uh, the other object, the person. So a present was given to Ali. So the explanation is like that. When we want to change an active sentence with two objects into the passive voice, one becomes the subject of the passive sentence and the other one remains an object. Okay, it's, it says on a, an object. Which object we choose depends on what we want to emphasize. Like if you want to speak about the person, start with the person. If you want to speak about the thing, start with the thing. Okay, if the personal object remains an object in the passive sentence, then we have to use a preposition, a suitable preposition, to or for. Okay, if the, the, the personal object like Ali in this case starts at the end of the sentence, stays there, you have to use a preposition. Okay, some people will ask, when do I use to? When do I use for? Okay, look at the examples, then we are going to tell you. So he showed me the newspaper report. Two objects, it's me and the newspaper report. Look at the sentences. Mm -hmm. I was shown the newspaper report. And I can say the newspaper report was shown to me. To me, if I say, like if I want the personal object to stay object at that, you, you must precede it with a preposition. The other example, my mother bought me a toy. You have got two objects, me and a toy. If you say, I was bought a toy, no preposition. But if you say, a toy was bought for me. A toy was bought for me. Now, two or four. You use two with the, uh, with the verbs give, offer, pass, write, sell, bring, show, lend, read, hand, deliver, tell, owe, and pay. But four is used with fetch. Build, get, find, buy, save, leave, keep, call, cut, make, and book. Now, you can pause the video and return to any part to revise. Now we are going to practice our lesson today with some examples. The first one says, they will eat a lot of meat. Change into passive. Excellent. You say a lot of meat will be eaten. A lot of meat will be eaten. Now, another example, the boys have invited the teachers. Yes, that is great. The teachers have been invited. The teachers have been invited. Excellent. Okay, the mother ironed the shirts. Use where? Yes, awesome. The shirts were ironed. He is fixing the, the bike. He is fixing the bike. Use being. Fantastic. The bike is being fixed. So by last Thursday, she had read the selection. By last Thursday, the selection had been read. Okay, now, she told me a story. She told me a story. You have got two options here. Yes, great, great. I was told a story or a story was told to me. Now this is the end of our lesson. You can go through the video again to revise the rules. And that was it, active and passive.
Okay, inshallah, we are going to uh, complete the video with us, inshallah, next time. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.